Well, here I am on Bulgaria's southern Black Sea coast. I am on the rocks at the edge of the old town of Suzopol. This is a very well-known city in Bulgaria. It's one of Bulgaria's coastal old towns. It's, I believe, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's got a very pretty old town that's just above these rocks, which feels a little like Plovdiv on the sea. Plovdiv is Bulgaria's second city, for those of you who, don't, who do not know, and Plovdiv is a, has a very beautiful old town that sits atop one of its hills overlooking uh, a Roman amphitheater and all kinds of other stuff. Anyway, uh, Suzopol is very nice. It's got a bunch of beaches and coastal developments surrounding the old town, much of which, or most of which, I have not explored, at least not yet. And a lot of people hanging out in the town, at the beaches, on these rocks. And sitting here, I was just thinking that Possibly for the first time since I moved to Bulgaria, I feel like I'm at home. This actually feels something like being at Point Doom in Malibu or being somewhere on California's central coast. For a long time I used to go to the beach as a getaway when I wouldn't be in such a good mood or I just wanted to clear my mind or reflect or introspect, especially in my time up on California's central coast, I would love to go to the beach and sit at a place like this or even on a swing set at one or two beaches in particular. And by the way, I did see a rather old looking swing set here in Suzopol. I might get on that shortly. But anyway, I would love to sit at a place something like this which is just about the polar opposite of the hedonist haven of Sunny Beach where I spent the past six days, which to me is also a, a little slice of paradise, which I explained briefly before coming here. But anyway, back to California, I would love to sit at a place like this, reflect, introspect, and it was my way of getting away, but at the same time, I wasn't so much really enjoying and thrilled with the life I had there. Whereas here, I now have this little slice of, say, California, coastal California, that I just discovered that I can go sit down and use to calm myself, I'm not really a meditator, but calm myself, think a little bit, but at the same time, here in Bulgaria, in southeastern Europe, I'm essentially a crossroads of east and west, we're pretty close to Turkey here, as well as Greece. This used to be a, a Greek town going back hundreds of years. Well, so I get this little getaway, but at the same time, I find myself in a position in southeastern Europe where I can witness firsthand major world events, and to me it feels like I am on the world stage. This is something I, I mentioned in an article I just wrote for a friend's literary journal, yet in that article I said that in my time in Bulgaria, I did not find home, but rather I found a home base, and that probably still holds true, and I really am not very familiar with Suzopol at all, or even this part of the Bulgarian coast. It's my first time down here. But now it feels like I have my home base, and I have something that reminds me of home, home being California, 
uh, and something that is a slice of home that I really enjoyed and really appreciated. I also mentioned in that, that article how Hollywood never really appealed to me. I've, I've had opportunities to become interested or engaged or even go meet some celebrities and take in some award shows, but Hollywood never appealed to me. Traveling the world, going to funky places, being in these strange conflict zones and contested territories, that has always appealed to me far more than Hollywood. And now here I am sitting on the Black Sea down really close to the edge of Europe and I have found home base, a home base, and maybe, just maybe, I have found home as well. We'll see what happens in the times to come. I have a lot of opportunity ahead of me that I really need to seize and on my way over here I was really thinking about how much opportunity that I've been blessed with since coming to Bulgaria and due to the choices and some of the activities I've been engaged in over the past few years, yet much of that I do let slip through my fingertips. So I am going to be trying to grab a whole lot more of what life throws out of me at the days and weeks and years ahead. Yet at the same time, thinking back a little bit toward to this, uh, this conference that I attended in Sofia of all places, in May, there was a speaker by the name of Jesse Elder, who I guess is pretty well known in the self-development industry. He said one thing that really resonated with me, and that was, that which you appreciate, appreciates, as in what you're grateful for, what you appreciate, grows in value, or just grows, period. And that's a lesson that I have been trying to take with me ever since there. Since then, I've been employing it. I've been trying to express my gratitude every day over the past few months. And when you're at a place like this, it's kind of hard not to. And due in part to those sentiments, I now see myself transitioning slightly. Uh, I'm definitely not going away from news. I'm definitely not leaving behind Europe's migrant crisis and geopolitics and all the stuff that I, I'm most passionate and engaged in. But I am going to start producing some vlogs, some videos in which I open up a little bit to you, my audience, and to the world, and I think I will reap benefits from that, and I hope you do as well, even though I'm obviously no self-help guru, I'm not even in that industry, and I'm, I'm not your typical vlogger, if there even is such a thing, but this felt like a fantastic opportunity to make one of these videos somewhere within my home base of Bulgaria I found what is to me a slice of home with a, a positive spin on that and this is just me once again giving you a little glimpse into where I am in the world and what I appreciate about being here and having the opportunities that come along with that. So, I don't know what the pl my plan is actually for the rest of my time here in Sozopol and um, Bulgaria's southern Black Sea coast. Right now I'm winging it a little bit, but really enjoying it, and on that note, ciao from Sozopol, Bulgaria.